you doing today? Richard D'Souza. I'm the host of the Rich TV Live podcast with our very special guest, the CEO of Secure Private Data, Alon Giai. How are you doing today, Alon? Hi, Rich. Uh, doing great. Happy to be here and hello to our viewer. Very excited to have you on the show. And Alon, for those who don't know about Secure Private Data, can you please give us a quick intro on what the company does? Sure. Secure Private Data is a spin-off of a Swiss company called Globex Data. What we do is we offer a secure and private communication suite of tools like a platform. So we have an email, a messenger and a VPN. And uh, what we do is we only host everything in Switzerland in our own infrastructure. So we don't host it with third party uh, cloud providers like the big techs that are there. And we also don't data mine you. We serve customers, small businesses, uh, enterprises soon and government as well. And we serve customers globally. Fantastic. Now, on one of your recent press releases, the company mentioned how you have brought your customer acquisition costs down to U.S. $26 for August 2023, beating your 2023 target by 65%. Can you elaborate on where do you see the CAC customer acquisition cost in the coming months? And what does it mean for Secure as you prepare for a potential uplisting to the NASDAQ according to filings that we have found on your SEC website. Yeah, so the, the CAC is, is kind of the, the, the make or break number for a company that sells online. Last year, it was in the hundreds of dollars and we were just trying to see what works and what doesn't. We spent the entire year to dedicate to lower that acquisition cost. We see it even in the, in the single digit dollar in a year or so, because we're doing two things. We have a search engine optimization uh, company in California that works on the SEO and optimization and digital PR and so forth. So this is a fixed fee that we pay them and our ranking keeps going up and our traffic keeps going up. As a matter of fact, our traffic went up in some measures by 500% uh, in month wow. over month. So that's a lot. I was just on the phone with them. And then we have another company uh, in another part of the US that is handling now our meta and Google ads, or what we call paid digital advertising. And how we calculate the CAC is based on the money of the digital advertising that we spent. So we brought it down to 26. We really believe that blended between the SEO money that we pay this uh, agency to run it and our digital ads, we can get it down to about two to four dollars. And let me explain to you how we get there. So we have a fixed cost of SEO and digital PR and so forth of 15,000 US dollar. Uh, we believe that within about 12 to 18 months, probably 18 months, we can get to well over a couple hundred thousand visits. Today we have a five and a half percent conversion rate, but once you grow, you're going to look at a two and a half percent. So we're going to get maybe 5,000 uh, conversions for a $15,000 a month price and that's a three dollar conversion on a solution where the average revenue per user is over nine dollar us and keeps climbing the reason why it keeps climbing is because we have bundles now a lot of people are buy more than just secure vpn they'll add secure mail uh, for a little bit cheaper if you have a package obviously so we're seeing the the spending per customer go to 12 to 13 dollar us so this whole CAC thing is critical. Um, we, we tried everything. We tried influencers. We tried different radio, TV, you name it. And the most effective is basically the internet, social media, obviously, digital PR, which is something that our, our marketing agency handles, and uh, obviously SEO. It does take time, but then the cost could be really peanuts. And the more you do, the more you spend the lower it's going to get over time. This is why the uplisting that you mentioned, actually, we've been a little bit hush-hush about it, but when you have so many filings on the SEC, somebody's going to find it. It's also, I believe, in our uh, FRC report, the analyst report that is on our website. Um, so what happens is that funding that we plan to get is going to let us grow to 
a hundred thousand plus users within 18 months and you know that's a 12 million dollar us revenue costs about a million something to run the company maybe you add another couple million so you're looking at you know post listing potentially between five to eight nine cents a share in net income so ebita we have no debt and and that's also another great thing too in this higher uh, interest market and we have no conversions and and really not many options out there so the the company has a very tight structure so we're excited it's a recurring revenue business one thing i should add we've reduced our marketing budget by about 80 percent this year yet the sales are up 20 percent and this is all part of a tremendous amount of effort this entire year to reduce the cost to have that kind of little formula that works and then expand from there. We've explained in several press releases that after August or September, we're gonna slowly increase that digital budget as we see that CAC that stays on the floor. So we're pretty excited because the trend is, is really looking good. Uh, obviously there's a lot of cyber hack out there and people need privacy and security tools to communicate. So that's, that's in our advantage. Congratulations on all of your success and breakthroughs that you're having. Secure mentioned in another press release that the company's sales have been growing month over month. What is the size of the market Secure is targeting? So there was a study that was made by um, McKinsey, that's a huge consulting uh, firm. The market in the next few years is in the trillions of dollars. Okay, so we narrow down that because you know the market is huge every year is five six hundred billion dollars we look at the us there's 30 million small businesses we want to get a percentage of that there are 70 million privacy uh, advocates in the us uh, out of 150 million adults half of them are really afraid they got hacked they want more privacy they don't want data mining so in the consumer aspect, in a, in, a, in a perfect world, in the next uh, three to five years, let's say with the proper funding and so forth, we would like to target 5% of the consumers. So that's about three, three and a half million users, which is completely doable. We do have the infrastructure for it. And in the business world, we would like to target and get also at least 5%. So that'd be about a million and a half small businesses but remember a business has more than one employee so that could be probably another five million users so we're targeting 10 million users in the next five years which would bring about a 90 million dollar 100 million dollar a month in uh, gross revenue obviously at that scale you will need to in the future get more capital to grow but as somebody told me, it won't take you $26 million to grow to a million users, because as we explained, the CAC keeps going lower and then you've got word of mouth. When you have a critical mass, it starts to really double almost every year until you reach a level in the millions of users that it's, it may not double, but that's, that's quite a sizable market. So, and that's just the US. We also have, if I may mention, a global contract with America Mobile, which is the largest telecom operator in Latin America. I think they're in Europe too, they're in Austria. They got about 270 million subscribers and they're launching our secure messenger product, which is great. It's fully integrated with their billing system. So if you're in Mexico and you're using Telcel, your mobile operator, pretty much they own about 80% of the market there and you want to have secure messenger, you just add it on and you get built for it. So there's no friction. It's really amazing. It took us a long time to get there. And now we're launching an enterprise solution end of October, and we already have several banks lined up to buy it. Because Rich, the thing is that for texting or messaging, there is no alternative. You have the WhatsApps that are being hacked nonstop. You got signal all the others they're all the same or texting there is no alternative for private and highly secure messaging application and businesses are looking for that now because they got into the habit of messaging everyone more than emailing as someone told me messaging is kind of the daily thing and then the email is more when you want to confirm 
something. And people don't have the patience to check their email all the time. So it's just quick instant message. We're perfectly positioned with our existing infrastructure. We can have a million users tomorrow if we have to. Obviously, you know, we buy two, three hundred thousand dollar of equipment and gets us another two million users at seven to ten dollars a month. So the ROI on that market for us in terms of the, the gross margin that we have on our product is in the 90 percentile. So we're we have very high margin. We have no debt. We own our infrastructure, our machine. We own the software. We don't use open source. We don't pay licenses to other. So in that regards, we are very solid and we're ready to expand. That's music to my ears. We love to hear no debt and we love to hear high margin. So you guys are definitely on track to do some special things. Who would you say are your key competitors and what is Secure's advantage? So in the competitor space, there is, there is no one company that has what I call the Swiss Army knife of privacy tools for communication. There's no one. I hear a lot of time people talking about Proton Mail. Proton is a free service for the vast, vast, vast majority. Uh, we've received echoes that, you know, it's not really for business. Let's just say that. I don't want to talk about other companies so much, but that's not a real competitor because when it comes to business and enterprise, it's just they don't cut it and that's not their specialty. They also don't have the messaging and their VPN is on Amazon Web Service. Ours is our own. Um, you know, you got Microsoft, obviously, it's like the trillion dollar company. But if you're a business that doesn't want to use Outlook anymore for many reasons that we would read over the net and all these hacks and you're a little bit more particular if you want to have a tool where you can send an email to someone that doesn't have secure and yet that email still being private for them in a round trip because our whole technology in a nutshell is whatever you do within or outside of a secure user the entire communication happens in our swiss servers which are highly encrypted Whereas a typical email, it goes over the internet and that's how the hackers can get in. I have a weekly show on Newsmax, which is a very big channel in the US. Every Saturday, here's a cheap plug here. Every Saturday at 3.30 PM, I am usually the last 10 minutes of the show and we have the hack of the week, the secure hack of the week. And we discuss all these things. So competitors, yeah, I mean, Microsoft is big but we offer stuff that they don't. In terms of the messaging, you, when it comes to serious privacy. So we, I'm sure we have a competitor here and there someplace, but these are not global competitors that can offer the whole all-in-one package, hosted in Switzerland, proprietary machine, no big tech hosting and so forth, no data mining. I do not know any company that doesn't data mine you these days. And that's why we charge between seven to $10 a month per user. I should add, we're launching encrypted voice and video conferencing in Q1 of next year. And that's also extremely anticipated by people. And down the road, we will be looking at potentially doing an internet browser, uh, full privacy. So if you own a secure solution, that service will be free. Now, with more and more people getting hacked today and millions of dollars being stolen, what is secure strategy of helping people and businesses protect their data? Well, we try to do a lot of education. So that's the key. So on TV every week, that's one way. We're looking at doing a secure university with AI technology uh, to have a self-help. So you'd go on our website. We're working with a company to do that where you want to know anything about cybersecurity and you know which product to use or how can secure help. That AI technology is going to help you and it's it's a lot better than these video tutorial. So we're planning to launch our own little secure university. And in the product itself, we in our DNA, we have privacy. So whatever we do when we launch something, we always put ourselves in the mind of a user, right? A business or an individual. So I think with our enterprise solution that's coming out uh, early November, and uh, that's a very powerful solution to onboard 
huge companies. Uh, we already have lined up for that. Uh, businesses can guarantee themselves at least that they're not being data mined. And we can offer a kind of a plethora of VPN messaging and email for a bundle of $15, $20 a month per user. And that's extremely affordable. We offer 100 gigabyte of storage with our email too. So a lot of education, quality product, no data mining, high encryption. This is how a business can at least limit the damage that, that's out there because small businesses suffer the most. They don't have the big IT departments to save them. And when they get a breach, they could basically shut the door within six months because there's so much liability. So we always say it's a lot cheaper to spend 15 bucks a month with us and at least uh, be compliant with security and things like that. You may be in the mortgage industry, the banking, the medical industry. You have certain responsibilities and there's rules that now businesses have to be co compliant with certain cybersecurity rules and make effort to protect their data and their customers. So we try to educate uh, businesses out there. Is there anything you want to add for our viewers and do you offer a promo code for anyone wanting to try secure? Yes, so we offer a promo code called privacy. That's aptly named, obviously it's easy to remember. And you get 15% off for the next five years on all our solution. And I encourage everybody to go to X uh, at secure private, uh, also go to secure.com. You can go to our website, our corporate site, secureprivatedata.com. But I think if you go to our X account, there's a lot of update, a lot of news. We get a lot of articles and we also uh, portray the, the video, the, the, the interviews, and there's a bunch of like cybersecurity information. And when we have obviously something new coming up, we always post on X. Uh, that's for those who don't know by now, it's the old Twitter. I just got to get used to calling it X. But yeah, just, just go and follow us and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy our solutions. And, you know, uh, you may want to look at uh, the company as well uh, for long term for your investments. Well, this is fantastic learning more about your company. I want to bring investors' attention to your symbols. In Canada, the symbol is SKUR. In America, the symbol is SWISF. And I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence and do your research whenever you're looking into companies that we're talking to and CEOs and different industries. Now, I must remind you that I do believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put it on your radar and put it on your watch list. We are speaking to the CEO of Secure Private Data, Alain Guiai. And thank you for joining us today, Alain. Thank you, Rich, and thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, you can always email the company. And thank you for watching. I must remind you that if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, CEO interviews, breaking news, trending topics, and we bring it to you first. Have a nice day, everybody, and we'll see you soon.